Hello and welcome to Education by Spencer. Today we'll be covering TIC 6.9b. Graph the solution to the equation using a number line. So we want to graph the solution to the equation on the number line. Now I left the paper blank because I do the number line before we finish up. Let's continue to practice good habits. So I would circle my important numbers, underline the question. I would probably box in graph, solution, equation, number line. Graph the solution to the equation on the number line. Before I start, I would want to ask myself a question. Which properties of operation is used to isolate the variable? How do I isolate the variable? How do I get the variable by itself? Would it be commutative? Any order? Would it be associative? Grouping? Distributive? Sure. Identity? Same? Inverse? Opposite operation? I know that the 6 is being multiplied by the x. And in order to get the 6 by itself, I would have to divide. I would have to use the opposite operation of multiplication, which is division. That is what the inverse is. Next. <laughs> How do we isolate our variable? Well, a little, a little Ooh, excuse me. It looked like I already gave you the answer. So let's just go ahead and go through it real quick. Will we add on both sides? No, we would not add 6 on both sides. Will we subtract 6 on both sides? No, we would not. Will we multiply 6 on both sides? No, we would not. Just like I told you a few moments ago, we will use the inverse operation 6 times x. And the inverse of multiplication is division. So we would divide 6 on both sides. And this is what your paper should have looked like. Now, at this stage here, this is where we cancel out. And then we would have x isolated by itself. And we would simply divide 42 by 6. Now let's see what we get. x equals 7. You should have received, I mean, you should have got this answer when you divided 42 by 7. X is isolated by itself. This is our solution. And we can see that it equals 7. Now, finally, before we finish up, make a real quick number line. Doo -doo. I'm going to say this is 5. Ooh, excuse me, y'all. We got 0, I have 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, I would have made a complete four dotted circle to represent positive 7 on the number line. Uh, Y'all, thank you. I'll see you at the next video.